Not satisfied with your image prompt? You want to learn how to build amazing detailed prompts to craft your perfect Woo! image? Welcome! So let's start with the basic structure of a prompt. We can divide it in four categories, subject, prepositional detail, settings, and style. And this will work for mid-journey, caber or stable diffusion, as this AI generator uses basically the same prompt structure. The subject is pretty straightforward. It represents the main focus or character in the image. It can be as simple as a cat, or a bit more detailed as a blue robot Persian cat. Now let's add some prepositional details, which are all the details which describe the appearance or features of the subject. Here you can be a bit more descriptive of your subject using verbs, adjective, or action. Starting from my two previous subjects, I can add details like on a table wearing sunglasses or with a hat inside a plain cockpit. And the AI will just add those elements to my previous image. Once you are satisfied with your subject, it's time to work on the setting of your image. Now you can start describing the background of the environment of the image, as well as the lighting effect you want to use. Let's get back to our prompt, where we have a subject, some detail, and add some background information, like a sunny beach or a modern living room. Now our cats are either enjoying a sunny afternoon at the beach, or chilling in a comfy living room. So what about the lighting? Lighting can significantly influence the quality and mood of your images. The good news is that you can control lighting by adding various keywords to your prompt. Let's see what we get with just a cat and some lighting keywords. Here is our original cat to compare with. You can see that just changing the lighting really influences the mood of our images. Pretty cool. You can influence the overall style of your image in your prompt, or use existing artists as source of inspiration, and even customize the camera angle of your shot or the resolution of your image. The structure of our final prompt will end up looking like this. Subject, details, settings, and finally adding in the style of something. So far, I was using a 3D rendering prompt for my images, but you can go with different style, like an oil painting, or use famous artists as inspiration. Bonus point if you mix different artists for some crazy effects. Eventually, you can try various camera view or angle. Low shot angle for a view from the ground, aerial view to get your subject from above, close up view to zoom in, far shot angle to zoom out, I had some link in the description to help you. Now you have all the tools and endless possibilities to customize your prompt. Remember that prompting is an iterative process. Just start simple and get more and more complex. Good luck and may the prompt be with you.